the only way that we can really judge the Brexit party in the round at the moment is by looking at its leader, looking at you. So let's look at, look at you for a moment. Well, do, right. you, do you still want to replace the NHS with a private insurance basis? I never did. I would like to take the, I would like to take the burden off the NHS. I mean, if you want to go back... Okay, yes, you, no, I if, do want I, to go I mean, back. This is really very boring, do, isn't it? All no, you want to do, boring, all you want no, to do, I do, all I want, you do is go back to stuff from years ago. What do we talk about now in British politics? What do we talk about the sea change that is going on out there? You are trying to lead an insurgent party to replace yep. the main parties. Therefore, you're an important figure in this. I think we are going to have to move yep. to an insurance-based system of health care. I would feel more comfortable. My money would return value if I was able to do that through the marketplace of an insurance company than just trusting giving us £100 billion a year to central government. Do you still hold that if I was, If I was encouraged, opt out of the system to relieve the burden of the National Health Service, I would do so gleefully. Do you want to discuss these European elections or not? Yes, I certainly do. But Go I'm on, then. I, I, Go on, then. Let's try. Do you still believe that global, uh, worrying about global warming is the stupidest thing in human history? I believe that if we decide in this country to tax ourselves to the hilt, to put hundreds of thousands of people out of work in manufacturing industries, given that we produce less than 2% of global CO2, that isn't terribly intelligent. But as I say, here we are with one of the biggest changes in politics that's ever occurred, okay. and you're not even interested. Do you still What's want, wrong with the BBC? Do you still want to what roll, is wrong with the BBC? Do you still want to roll back gun controls and reintroduce handguns well, to this country? This sums it up. Do you know, I've been going around the country speaking at pack rallies every night, and do you know who's not there? The BBC. And from this line of questioning now, I can see why. Do you still you're, not, you're just not interested, are you? Do you still feel uncomfortable you are with foreign languages being interested, spoken on trends? Let's talk about democracy, let's talk about trust, let's talk about competence in politics. This is ludicrous. Do you still feel that people with HIV shouldn't be allowed into this country? Do I think the National Health Service is there for British people? Yes, I absolutely do. So you, st you still do? Um, do you this is absolutely ludicrous. I've never in my life seen a more ridiculous interview than this. You are not prepared to talk about what is going on in this country today. You're in denial. The BBC's in denial. The Tory and Labour parties are in denial. I think you're all in for a bigger surprise on we, Thursday we have than you can it. even imagine. We have talked about it. Do you still admire Vladimir Putin? No. I've never admired Vladimir Putin. You, well, you asked, I said I wouldn't like to live in his which country. You asked which current world leader you most admired. Nonsense. You told GQ magazine... As an operator, but not as a human being, yes. I would say well, Putin. The way he so played the whole so Syria thing... Not as a brilliantly. human being. So I don't, like him as a, I don't like him as a human being. What is your question? What is the relevance of this? What I'm, is the relevance I'm, I'm, of I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to no, work no, no, out I'm, who I'm, you are well, and where the well, Brexit I, Party, which wants to I, destroy the party asked, system, is you going. You haven't asked about a single other member of the Brexit Party. You haven't commented on the fact we've got the most diverse list of candidates of any party fighting in this election. From the Revolutionary Communist Party right through well, to well, the no, right. Well, that's worth discussing, isn't it? How have we managed to get left and right together? These things are really interesting to your viewers, not trawling back to a series of quotes from years ago. Do you still want to slash the size of the state? Absolutely. I want people to have more freedom. Absolutely. And, you know, particularly 5.4 million people out there acting as sole traders, running small businesses, and there's nobody in government on their side. Let's make their lives easier. They'll create more jobs, pay more taxes, and it'll mm. be good for our country. Well, let's, let's return to the thing that you are most well known for, to a lot of people watching, which is that famous poster, the Breaking Point poster that UKIP put up. Right. Can I ask you, would the Brexit party put that poster up? Well, we're in different circumstances, because Mrs Merkel is not suddenly saying, let's open our doors to everybody. Yeah, but and, and, and as you know, or maybe you don't, as years go by, decades evolve, different issues come to the fore. Throughout that period of time, there is no question that the number one issue in British politics was immigration, people's concerns mm. over open borders, its impact on wages, access to public health care. The number one issue in British politics now is democracy, the failure of our political parties to keep their promise. That is what the country is debating. But that, that post has sent a very, very clear message about migrants. Are you saying the Brexit party would not put up a poster like that? Well, it wouldn't because it isn't the burning issue of the time. Do you regret it? Uh, do I regret helping that to win... That poster? Do I regret helping to win... Do you regret that poster well, and no, the message it, was, no, it, it, sort, it sort of it was, the, it was the truth. And if you think about that poster, it's transformed European politics, it's changed Italian politics. Mrs Merkel made a very big mistake. Nigel Farage, thanks very much Thank indeed you. for talking to us.